Time now for Lara in Central Park. Hey, George, good morning to you. It is our series, Youth Unlocked. We're looking at younger people dealing with challenges usually associated with older adults. And this morning, we're talking a lot about hip replacements. People under 45 years old now account for nearly 6% of surgeries. And Will Carr and I are both part of that fabulous statistic. Good morning to you, Will. Good morning, Lara. I'm not used to telling stories about myself, especially this story at this age. I'm still in my 30s. What I've learned along the way is that we're all dealing with our own unique life challenges, regardless of age. And the key for me has been finding community, purpose, and flipping the narrative that I'm too young for this. It all started when I was stomping around in a blizzard. Course wanted down. Course wanted down. I thought I tore something in my left hip. When I got home, x-rays revealing moderate to severe osteoarthritis. After a lifetime of adventure, from football to skiing, most of my cartilage in my left hip gone. I was told I needed a full hip replacement at the age of 38. The average age for a hip replacement is 65, but we're finding that average age is decreasing. Patients are doing more and they want to stay active for longer. So they are either injuring themselves or they're wearing out their joints through wear and tear. I was in a funk, but I kept Morning, working. Michael, this fire has made a run overnight. But the pain was getting worse. It felt like multiple times a day that I had a huge steak knife jammed into my hip. Uh, sharp stabbing pains. So I went forward with the surgery. After, the great team at UCLA told me to start walking immediately. Today it uh, feels like I got kicked by a horse. At times, the struggle was real, getting in and out of bed especially difficult. I'm breathing like I just did a workout. Using a cane, I was slowly getting stronger, relying on the encouragement of family and friends. Say, so feel better, Uncle Will. Feel better, Uncle Will. Hope you feel better. And before I knew it, I tossed the cane to the side and started walking on my own. I was feeling better physically, but still battling the idea that something was wrong. The first thing that everybody would say is, you're too young for that. You're too young for that. I heard that a thousand times. More than six months after surgery, I'm pain free in my left hip and in my reporting, even bouncing around like a kid. A couple weeks after my surgery, I was walking along with a cane and a stranger came up to me and told me that he burned his feet and legs in a fire and was in agony, but told himself that if he could get outside to watch the sunset every night, he could mentally make it into the next day. That really stuck with me. It still sticks with me. It is all about purpose. No matter what you're going through, find that purpose and you'll find the drive yep. to keep going. Lara. Yep. Well, that is great advice and I'm so glad you're doing well. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.